Hello, I'm Catherine and we're in Art Schoolie. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to be getting to infuse my artistic process with that of another's. I have a kit by the artist Micah Hendricks who goes by Busy Mockingbird online and this kit makes one of her dream creepers. I'll get to that in a second. But Micah Hendricks, she is an illustrator, a graphic designer, and a crafter and is someone who you know, works in a lot of different mixed medias. I, you know, kindred spirit there. Um, but we also really like kind of the odd and the unusual and the monsters. And we also both have young daughters who like to help us collaborate on our processes. So it's like an unofficial collaboration, which is kind of exciting. So the kit, the Dream Creeper, comes with a poured resin face and a pattern to make the plush body. But in true busy mockingbird spirit, I am going to have my daughter make all the artistic decisions. She's gonna pick the fabric, she's gonna pick the paint colors, and she's gonna be my art director. So Micah and Myla, I hope we're doing you proud and uh, let's get to it. First I had Little Sprout pick the fabrics. Then we cut out the pattern and laid it out and pinned that to our fabrics. The creature has a mane, tail, two floppy ears, a body, and six legs. Six legs. What? Yeah, like kitty bus. Where did you go, my little gremlin? I was drawn to the Dream Creeper, both because of Micah's amazing facial sculpts and also because of the story. She and her daughter Myla had made one, and another little kid called it creepy. Her daughter responded that it needed to be creepy to keep the bad dreams away. I love that she had a fierce confidence in reasoning. There's such a joy from kids defending their rightful oddity and creativity. After we got all the fabric cut, it was time to get some paint on the face. Check out all the details in the sculpt. I think every wrinkle and dimple just makes this little guy more and more charming. Little Sprout wanted the paint colors to match the colors in the fabric she picked. One eye was to be purple and the other green to match the thistles and the nose a brown red to complement the tartan.
My favorite part was painting the little tooth. And that's my part of the face done. After letting it dry, it was time for both the most nerve-wracking and the most exciting part, which was letting Little Sprout add her details. Oh, the internal conflict between the proud parent and artistic enabler versus the little possessive goblin in my mind that says, no, oh, that's my painting. But honestly, her flowers are my favorite part, and there's nothing that could have ruined it. Then we set the face to the side to let it dry and got to work sewing up the rest of the pieces. The legs needed to be pre-stuffed before they were laid into the body and belly seam. So I made a bunch of sausages and set them out. I had to be away from my sewing machine, so I'm doing it all by hand, which isn't the worst, but I certainly do miss my tools. Pins would be amazingly helpful in this situation, so try not to freehand it like I'm doing. After some completely self-imposed fiddly bits, I had the legs in the seam. Then I added the other three to the other side of the belly to make a leg-filled burrito. Then on one end, I attached the bottom while catching the fluffy tail in the seam, and on the other end, added the mane and turned it right side out. And then I stuffed it, spray sealed the face, and attached it all together. That was super fun. It was really cool to kind of walk in another artist's shoes for a little bit and kind of see how their brains work, how they write their patterns and develop their products. And I had an absolute blast. So I hope you had fun with us today. I will link all of Micah's stuff down below. Go check her out. And I hope you had fun. And remember, you're always welcome on board the bus. Bye. <laughs>